Hi, I'm Guy Robles at American Military Supplies. Today we're looking at a set of German World War II mittens. Uh, these happen to be the tan marsh pattern. They have some beautiful colors, the originals. Um, the trigger finger has been sewn on, a little customization, the alteration, we're not sure why. A fake fur lining applied inside. Uh, probably wartime, we're not sure. Could have been done after the war. Some things were worn just out of general need and uh, for general purposes after the war. But these have been well treated. If they were used after the war, um, they were well taken care of. Again, these are original World War II German. They show, you know, they're a little stiff here and there. As we know, anything that's 70 plus years old is going to have a little stiffness, a little uh, show some age. We found these recently. These are, again, collector grade. When you look in a book, you will see these patterns reoccurring. Some people spend a lot of time looking at pictures in a book that help to make sure that they're looking at an actual, true, original piece versus a reproduction where they don't have these exact patterns that repeat themselves on all these items. So these come from original roller prints. These, these prints were... So even these subtle differences, an expert will, will look and see and notice these are original pieces and not a reproduction. As we know, the, the Germans, when they attacked uh, Russia in 42, went in a little ill-prepared and they didn't have a lot of winter clothes. So a lot of these were manufactured. So these uh, the pattern is referred to as a Marsh 43. It was also a Marsh 44 that changed slightly in the camouflage pattern around the greens. Even looking at pictures and telling the, the Marsh 43 from the Marsh 44, I do believe these are the Marsh 43. Again, this pattern came out in 1943. The Germans had a lot of fun in Russia, as we all know. So they, when they were ill-prepared, they, they needed all the winter clothes as fast as they could get them. These have slight alterations where the, the trigger fingers have been cut and re-sewn. We're not sure why. There is some staining, some discoloration. That could be from who knows what. It could even be from a German soldier maybe even wiping his nose. We know that in the snow, your nose runs a lot. It's very possible that there's some German DNA on there. Just all part of the fun of collecting things. When you see something, you go, geez, that could be something that just happened naturally. There's also a little, you know, rust, maybe blood. These are from, you know, battle field conditions, so they're, they're used items. Rare find, good condition, different having a fur lining, you know, probably field done, possibly in the factory. Rare things, you know, happen all the time. Nice to see something like this in this condition. Thanks for watching. I'm Guy Robles at American Military Supplies.